Well, good morning again, everyone, and as always, uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, before we go any further, let me apologize to all of my viewers and subscribers again. I know it's been uh, quite some time since I last did a video, of course. Uh, the last time was at the rally over in downtown for uh, Reopen Illinois. Um, but what I want to talk about this morning is um, the George Floyd situation. Um, and the escalating tension that has been taking place within the last two to three days there in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and throughout many other uh, major cities uh, with Black Lives Matter organizations and so on, you know, marching for justice for uh, George Floyd. As many of you may know, it was just this past week, it was early this week, I should say, where uh, George Floyd tragically lost his life by the hands of a Minneapolis police officer who had arrested George Floyd uh, after having the police called on him for attempting to uh, apparently cash a bad check. Um, however, though, from what footage had shown, uh, uh, George Floyd was taken into custody, and after he was taken into custody, the officer can clearly be seen on video with his knee on George Floyd's neck and his other on his back and screaming at him to shut up as he lay there dying and begging for his life, guys, which was a terribly tragic situation. Um, there was absolutely no justification for that kind of action whatsoever. There's absolutely nothing that warrants that kind of behavior from a, a, a public servant, guys, okay? You know, for those of you who know me, you know full well that, um, you know, I support police. Uh, I'll be the first one to admit that. But, you know, when it comes to situations like that, I cannot support those kind of actions, guys. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, again, you know, there was just no justification for that kind of behavior. Um, I do know as well as the mayor of Minneapolis, Minnesota, as well, as went on to state that she demands that the officers there involved in this situation are brought up on charges again but uh there's no telling what's going to happen what we could do is just wait and let uh, justice take its course while this is still under investigation but you know at the same time in my mind there is no doubt that you know this officer responsible for george floyd's death will be brought up on much harsher charges should charges be brought but again um with that being said uh you know it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But again, what I wanted to also talk about was the looting that actually took place there yesterday in uh, the Target there outside of uh, uh, there in Minneapolis, Minnesota, not far from uh, where the protesters were uh, there uh, apparently hurling rocks and bottles at police officers. Uh, we were watching that in real time as it was unfolding yesterday. Um, and listening to it over the scanner as well so that's how I was able to hear what was going on um, but again uh, my whole thoughts on the entire matter is um, it's a terrible situation uh, my heart goes out to George Floyd's family his friends or whoever else um, again but with that being said guys uh, I hope everyone is having a blessed morning so far um, of course, I'm urging each and every one of you to continue to keep George Floyd's family and loved ones in your prayers, guys, again. Um, I don't know what George's intents were when it came to the bad check. Did he know he was cashing a bad check, or was he doing it on purpose? And if that was the case, you know, again, you know, I'm not supporting what he did either if that was the case. But again, uh, you know, it, there's just nothing that warrants that kind of behavior from a police officer after someone has already been taken into custody by sitting there forcing your knee into the back of their neck, trying to cut off their air while that person is laying there and begging for their life. I mean, there's just no justification for that absolutely whatsoever, guys. But with that being said, I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts on the entire situation early this morning again um, as I'm preparing to head off to work, guys. But with that being said, I'm going to do my very best to bring you news if you happen to have any. And again, with that being said, everyone, Please be sure to hit like, subscribe, and comment, and give me your thoughts below on this entire situation. And with that being said, everyone, God bless, and I'll talk to you all later.